Today we are going to explore Zoho subscriptions. This is billing software offered by Zoho that is included in the Zoho One bundle. Um, today we're going to explore and then also I'll show you how your members or subscribers can make changes to their subscription by using the client portal. Now before we get started, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and then also don't forget we have a free community for Zoho users in the US you can join at SuccessfulSolutions.com slash connect if you go to Zoho's website for Zoho subscriptions you can read a little bit more about its features um, you know go into more depth on those also, you can see that there are multiple payment gateways that integrate with Zoho subscriptions and then also some other software um, that are Zoho or and or non Zoho applications that you can integrate with Zoho subscriptions. Now, today I am going to you know show you some of the basics. Um, first of all, this is the home screen or dashboard when you first log in where you can see how many signups you have activations how many customers um, your payments um, right here you can see you know from day to day how many signups activations cancellations reactivations and customers that you have um, so it's in you know overall dashboard to my knowledge um, there's no way to uh, customize this dashboard but it basically gives you what you would normally need to see um, for Zoho subscriptions. Next, we're going to skip down to the invoice section. Uh, this is where you'll be able to see all invoices from pretty much any of the um, Zoho Finance applications. So let's say that you know you're using Zoho Books. When you go into Zoho Books, you have a section for invoices. These are the same invoices that you will see here in Zoho subscription. So basically, it's the same database and tables with a different interface So you ha and different functionalities. So you've got Zoho subscriptions, Zoho books, Zoho inventory, where you would be able to see you know, those same invoices and so on. Um, also, uh, here is where you would create your products in Zoho subscriptions. You can create a product with multiple plans and also add-ons. And then of course you have the ability to set up coupons as well. Um, just looking at this example, I've created a product called Zoho CRM Training and it has three different plans, basic, intermediate, advanced, and you can price those differently, but then you can also give it a little description as well with features. So you can list out the features here. Um, what you can also do is include it in a widget to where you can place that code onto your website to show it in the format of a widget. Uh, you wanna make sure that you set your accounting details and then you know set your pricing and how often they should be billed and then also if there's an expiration you want to also add that in there you have the ability to give people a free trial you would just put the number of days you'd like to set up the free trial for when they sign up for that plan they will automatically go into the trial and then after that trial is over they will automatically be billed um, for whatever the price is that you have here if you need to add a setup fee, you can do that. Um, and then whatever type it is, whether it's goods or service, uh, the plan description would go here as well. Okay, so let's take a look at what the widget would look like for this. Okay, so when I go back out to the product and then I click on more, there's an option called embed widget. When you click on that, it will show you some different templates that you can use. Okay, so you've got five different templates to choose from. You don't have the ability to customize them much. You can change the color for the button, like here. You can change and put your hex color code in here. Um, but with that, you would basically just copy the code for this and place it on your website. You can select which plans you want to appear in the widget 
and you can do you know some other configurations here as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on copy code you can see what the code looks like here um, but I'm going to copy the code and then I am going to go to my website this is a Zoho site that I use for demos and I am going to drag and drop or add the uh, code snippet okay I'm going to call it Zoho CRM plans and then paste the code Hit OK so now this is where the code is you can actually see the code you can actually see the widgets from here but let's see if it will allow us to see it on the preview here. Okay. All right. So this is it in the preview. You can see the basic, intermediate, and the advanced options. Um, and then this is where they would just simply subscribe to that particular plan. Okay. So you do have the ability to add widgets to your website, and you can do this on any website that will allow you to add you know your own code snippet and you know also just keep in mind that whatever you change here will automatically change on that widget so let's say you go in and change the price or even the name of the plan it will automatically be updated um, you don't have to actually re copy and paste the code so you also have your customers uh, there are price lists as well if you would like to set a price list we could go into more detail on this in you know a live demo but for now just know you can add price lists that will allow you to you know um, associate different pricing based on different things and then also you've got the customers this is where all of your customers will automatically go into the system so if they sign up for a subscription they will be added here as a customer also you can integrate those customers or you know uh, make sure that they are added to your CRM your Zoho CRM as well these are the actual subscriptions that have been set up right now there aren't any so let's add one real quickly so right now I am going to add a subscription for the basic plan okay for $39.99 a month it's going to expire after three cycles continue oh you know what we're going to go back we're going to collect the payment offline just because we are not actually adding payment information all right so there you go this is where you would be able to associate a card for that subscription if you needed to but of course your clients or your customers can add their own payment information if they sign up through your widget on your website and there we go so you would have all of your subscriptions listed here when you click on the subscription you would see the details the customers have the ability to log into the client portal to see their you know past invoices their subscription and so on so in order to do that let's say that Benton here would like to be able to access the client portal you would go to customers find Benton and invite them to the portal so you would click on this to send an invitation to the email that you have on file and when you do that they will be able to set up their username and password and access the transactions so the subscriptions the invoices and so on and um, you know any comments that you've shared with them within Zoho subscriptions and then here again is where you can you know enable the portal either here or you can send the invitation here so in doing this will allow you to check let's say there are more than there's more than one person that's a contact for this particular company you would be able to check however many people you need or whichever and then you would save and then it will send them the invitation okay the last section I want to cover in this uh, video is the payment section and this is where you'll be able to see the payments that you have received it's basically just a list of them all and then when you click on them you can see you know like an actual um, almost like a receipt that you can download as a PDF print out or send to your customer or client alright so 
Yeah, Zoho Subscriptions has been very helpful. We use it ourselves, especially for our Stream Path members, those who would like to be able to get a little bit more guidance as they learn to customize their own Zoho system. So you can find out more information within the community. Again, you can join at SuccessfulSolutions.com slash connect. All right, guys, until next time.